Hello and welcome to this special edition of the NA Women's Football Show. Very shortly, Colin and I are going to be chatting to Julie Andrews from the Northern Ireland Ladies Training Camp in Spain. But before that, Colin, how do you think their camp has gone? By the sounds of it, they're having a great time. <laughs> in the sun. In the sun. Very There's jealous. A, we're sitting here in the middle of a storm season and they're sitting out yeah. there enjoying themselves. Well, not quite enjoying themselves. I, I think it's, you know, Speaking more seriously, I think it has been very, very beneficial to the girls about that. Yeah, no, definitely. Um, we've obviously had players coming back from injury. Kenny's given everybody game time, which is crucial. Obviously, some of them were out of season and stuff, so they needed to get back in and, and get some game time under their belt. So they've yeah. done that. So yeah. definitely it's been good. And camp. great preparation for the games coming up against England and Austria, which obviously are happening in not too distant future. Yep, very, very important games coming up. So I'm sure Kenny's learned a lot from this camp. For those and hi, time now to hear from Julie Andrews in the glorious sunny Spain. Hi, Julie. How are you? It's Zoe here. Hello. So, Julie, how is camping going for you then? Obviously, we've seen all, all the nice photos and I know you you guys are working hard, but how's it going for you personally? Um, yeah, it's, it's been a really, really great camp. I think it's it's nice to get to get away somewhere um, sunny and somewhere warm. Um, mm -hmm. It's been enjoyable that way, but also... Um, you know, we've been working hard on the training pitch and we've had two very different, but also two very beneficial games. Um, so I think for me, um, there's, there's been a lot of learning done um, and it's been really good to, to get some minutes on the pitch and, you know, get a feel for um, playing against some of the, like, the best teams in Europe, such as the Swiss. And how do the friendly camps differ then from the competitive ones? It's probably not as quite as much pressure in your shoulders then. Can you relax a wee bit more? Um, yeah, you know, away away from the pitch, we, we're we're relaxed and um we're really happy to be here. But when we when we go to training, I'd say it's it's just the same intensity because to get the most out of these friendlies, we have to have to try and match what it would be like if we were playing competitive matches. So that way it's no different. But I suppose when it comes to match day, um, it gives like the coaching staff especially and an opportunity to, to experiment. Um, it's been really good. You know, everybody in this squad is, has stepped foot on the pitch for like, I think at least 30 minutes already and we've still one more game to go. So in training, the intensity is is the same. It's not any different that way, but it just means when we go to play matches that, that we can try things and we can make sure that everybody gets minutes and gets an experience, which is like great they have and Jolie you're obviously one of the younger players and I was talking to Sarah a couple of days ago it's one of more senior experienced players and she was saying you know how she really enjoys helping the younger players is that really beneficial for you being one of the younger players that you have those senior players to look up to oh yeah it's, it's massive and um, you know for myself and the rest of the, the younger ones in the squad like I think we we all really look up to them and we know like how long they've played for being in the game and played for Northern Ireland before. And then, you know the the share the share of all with us and um, to help us to get better and it's it's so great. Like we're I think all the young players are really thankful to have um the older ones and um, to help us through and to tell us like um what it's been like for them to help us in our experience. You talked about the Swiss game and obviously you had to come from behind you one down. Does that show the great spirit? Game that you never get up and you, you guys got back. What did you learn from that game? Um, yeah, I think you know the fact that it was two one to the Swiss and and we kept going. Like at, maybe in previous previous games, previous years, we would have at two one. You know, we'd been one nil up and then they went two one up. And I think we it, it had the potential for us, you know, to to crumble. But um. Like we, in our mindset, that was never the case, even at 2-1, you know, I was thinking we'll, we'll get a chance here, like, and we created loads of opportunities um, and, you know, we were able to get the penalty and get one back and on a different day, we, we could have went on to win the game, you know, maybe the ball just didn't fall for us in the box, um, but it, there was so much, so much learning done um, in that Swiss game about, like, how to, how to play against an opposition of that quality and, um. Yeah, I definitely think it showed like our grit and the character we have in this team to to keep going. Um, when we you know we were up against it, you must take a lot of confidence from that game going now. The remaining game that you can you can get another result, get a win with that one. Um, yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, Romania is it's going to be a different game, but um, we'll approach it like any other. Um, we're happy with our performance against Switzerland, but um. 
we're not going to take our foot off the gas or change the way we think about the Romania game or, or play against them. We'll take nothing for granted. Um, and we'll play it like any any other game and hopefully we can give a really good account of ourselves and hopefully get a win. And just finally, uh, we asked the supporters if they had any questions for you guys. Um, so they wanted me to ask you who your favourite sporting, sporting idol is and why. Um, I think for me it has to be Ronaldo. Um, it's a bit of a <laughs> good one. It's not very exciting, but um, yeah, I support Man United and I think he's like he's an unbelievable athlete really unbelievable athlete and to be doing what he's doing at his age is is unreal so yeah Ronaldo probably